Runsetter crime scene. Aha. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. Well, that ought to help narrow things down a lot. Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. Bingo. That's what we were looking for. Okay, so now we're done here. We've gotten all we can out of these images. Let's go to the lab and check out what uh, forensics can tell us. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runsitter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers klutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> you're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. That was good, we got a lot of useful information there. Roof. Now we're gonna go to the roof, and... Now we're off to Chinatown. If you've been paying attention, uh, we found a number of pieces of evidence that pointed to Howie Lee's, a Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. So we're going to head over there and see what we can find out. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. McCoy, LPD, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. We'll be seeing this guy again later. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. This girl ever eat around here? Nah, all gaijin look like the old man. Zoban, onna mimashita? You seen girl? I don't know her. Got to mix more out back. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped it come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do highway favor? Distribute all through our police station? How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. 
Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. Now remember how one of the Runsitter crime scene witnesses said he saw Lucy hanging out with a big fat guy. Keep that in mind. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here! Air bad! This will only take a minute. Now I'm gonna try and side with the replicants this playthrough, so I'm not gonna ask to be You know him. this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know, and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, huh? Oh my god, you asshole! That was perfectly good soup! That appears radioactive, but whatever. Okay, let's chase after this jerk. Now, I could kill this guy, he's like a homeless guy. You can kill him and dump him in the dumpster, but... I'm not that big of an asshole. I mean, well, okay, I am, but... I'm not gonna do it anyway. I'm not gonna waste my, uh, time and effort. So let's chase after Zubin, he went up this way. Now, I could kill him here... Relax. But I'm not gonna Nobody's do that. Nobody's gonna get retired, okay? What do you want from Zubin? Just talk, that's all. So talk? There are things I want to know. Ah, police. I'm McCoy, LPD Rep Detect Unit. Rep Detect? Sometimes we're called Blade Runners. Now that door he just went through, it's locked, so I can't chase after him that way. So we're going to turn around and go back out here. Aha, uh -huh, now this door is open. This is going to be Gaff. But he is not voiced by Edward James Almos, unfortunately. Oh well. Still awesome. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. I checked with you and Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Your target give you the slip? What happened, McCoy? You feel sorry for it? My game must have been off. Go home and get some rest. I'm sure you need it. Now to end Act 1, I need to go back to my apartment and sleep. But I have something to do before that. First we need to go back to the alley where we are chasing after Zubin. Go over here, and we're going to look in the dumpster where the homeless guy was before to find the license plate. Yay! That's what we're looking for. Now let's get out of here. Time for a nap. Thank you.